Black Girl Sue STEM is a local educational equity organization working at the intersections of STEM access, gender, and race. Really triggering curiosity in the minds of Black girls through hands-on, interactive, engaging STEM workshops. At Black Girls Sue STEM, we envision a new normal where Black women have equitable representation across all STEM pathways. And we feel to realize that vision that we have to start with girls and building their confidence, building their self-efficacy, and building their ability to see themselves as STEM professionals. We have a STEM Saturday Academy working with middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders in community. We continue working with those girls through their high school careers, empowering them by giving them access to support services, such as math and science tutoring, internships, and experiential learning opportunities. And then finally, we continue to work with those girls post-secondary, helping them plan for college or direct to the workforce pathways. At the core of our equity focus really is culture and being and belonging. If we don't do anything else right about programming with Black girls in our region, we need to make sure that we truly create a space for them to show up as they are, where they belong, and where they can simply be. Flint's Early Learning Center is a high quality, state-of-the-art child care facility. Our number one goal is to be able to provide children with everything that they need in one space. This includes medical, this includes food, this just includes access. It's all about giving those children access. What makes Flint's truly unique is its dedication to medical service. These services are essential to children at an early age because it allows them the opportunity to have opportunities. We know that healthy children learn better. We know that children that receive services for the things that they need are able to thrive. So our goal is to develop the whole child and the family as well, not just the educational part of it. We measure success first through our families, being able to see them thrive and being able to see them grow. We also measure it on the scale. We do outcomes for our educational assessments and we're able to say proudly that we have 100% successful kindergarten entry rate. So all of our kids are always ready to leave us no matter where they go. I want us to be one of those places where we're the model because we want all children to have access to what our children have access to. Cardinal Ritter College Prep is the nation's only co-ed African-American Catholic high school. Our students come from 55 different zip codes in the metro area, bringing with them a thirst for excellence, achievement, and accomplishments. Cardinal Ritter is not just a gem for St. Louis, it's a gem for the entire country. It is the model for how African-American students should be educated in high school. When you walk into our school, you are going to see images that are a reflection of the African-American experience all over the school, on every wall, in every classroom. A student at Cardinal Ritter believes that he or she can accomplish whatever it is they put their mind to because we surround them with that. We set that expectation from the time they walk through the door to the time they walk across the stage at graduation. I'm always so humbled by the community partnerships that we have with higher education, with businesses, with not-for-profit organizations. They flock to Cardinal Ritter College Prep because of our students, because they know that our kids are going to bring to their organizations the same promise and hope and love and achievement that they bring to our school every day. It's thrilling, uh, to be honest with you, to, to, to be around young people that are going to change the course of, of their generation. DASA provides fitness and sport activities for individuals with physical disabilities. We are providing swimming, track and field, soccer, rock climbing, golf, you name the sport, we provide it. The main objective or goal of DASA is to help these individuals find their inner athlete. Plain and simple, for them to be able to set audacious goals and for them to meet those goals. In 1997, I founded it. Our first practice was in my driveway. We played wheelchair basketball. And that was with five kiddos that I had been working with. Now, 26 years later, we have over 300 athletes participating in all sports. Uh, some are Paralympians. Some have gotten full rides to universities for adaptive sports. And many, many of them are just happy with who they are right now. 
I would hope the legacy of DASA would be within our individuals, that they have gone out and been the best that they can be. You know, whether they're doctors or lawyers or trash truck drivers or Paralympians, they have been given the opportunity to believe in their abilities and do the very best that they can. And that we'll just see so many more people with disabilities out in our community and thriving.